Welcome back to another Read the Factory Manual. This time we're going to do another Tootsie Toy. So here it is. We're going to do a Porsche 911. I think that's what this is. And it's hard to make out what it says, but it is rusted to all heck. We're going to see what we can do to get that better. Last time I cut the axles off because I didn't want to take these apart. I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to uh, use hot water to get the wheels loose, pull the wheels off, leave the axles in, and try to clean the axles up while they're in the car. So that's the idea for this one. If it works, great. If not, I'll cut them off and do it a different way. It's not a big deal. So, and I'm also going to remove that stinking tow hook because who the heck would have a Porsche with a tow hook? Tootsie Toy Matchbox. That's who. We need to begin with taking the wheels off. All right. I don't know if I like my new logo on there or not. There we go. I don't know if caustic soda will do anything to rust at all, but hey, let's try it. We are going to need some caustic soda. Car. And some water fresh from the Keurig. I got it out of the stripper and we can see it's pitted all the heck. I'll zoom in so you can see what's going on. See that's pretty pitted. But then I was as I was cleaning it, I thought to myself, self. Let's embrace this and let's paint this car. I was going to use the Vallejo, the new Vallejo red that I got. This stuff right here. But then I decided, why don't I paint it with this instead? The Tamiya clear red and do it fairly light and not and have it show through to see all the textures of the car. And I think that might give me an interesting finish. So that's the new plan. These cars, you know, they just speak to you as you start working on them on what they want to be. So the axles cleaned up fairly well. I'm going to go ahead and hit them with the, with the metal wire, the steel brush, wire brush on the Dremel. Get them nice and cleaned up. And it says Tootsie Toy Chicago, made in the USA, down there at the bottom. And so there we go. I'm not going to do much at all for body work on this thing. I'm, I'm going to file the windows down a bit so that they look better. There's some flashing on there that needs to go away. So I'll get that done. And um, we'll get going. This one has a rounded end on one side, flat on the other. So I'm going to use that here. bunch of different files. Here's a square one. Can I use a knife? this but that's okay
Okay, I think we're ready to go put some paint on this thing. is the paint looks pretty nifty if I say so because I am saying so but you can see all of the imperfections in this casting this casting was in bad shape or is in bad shape it is pitted and it's just bad and these this um, these old Tootsie toys are brittle you saw from my last video I'm doing a Tootsie toy on the um, on the Fiat, it just broke apart on me. So I didn't want to risk it on this one. So I just let it be what it is. I think it looks pretty cool. So let's get the uh, let's get the details painted on this thing and get the the tires back on it and get her up on the turntable and call this thing a video. All right, let's try the first one. to start painting I want to get some of the details done this is my favorite part of the whole journey right here my least favorite part of the whole journey is sanding as Time Rider once said if he would have known his hobby would have been all about sanding he probably would have done something different one of his videos it got me into these Tootsie Toys. They're fun little cars to do. Kind of hard to get these cars done. I still do a full-time job. I only get the weekends to do these things. Well, here we are at the end of our journey for the Porsche. I think it's a 911. Tootsie Toy. You can see we started out with a Tootsie Toy that was probably found in the dirt. Buried for a couple decades, I would think. For a long time. Found itself to eBay, then found itself to me. I went ahead and do much to this. I cleaned it up, stripped it down, sanded it up, or I didn't, I'm sorry. I stripped it of its paint. I gave it a, a once over with the wire wheel, the brass wire wheel. Then I just put the Demia clear red paint on this car let it do its thing, put the wheels back on it, gave it some silver details, and there you go. Tootsie Toy, done. I hope you enjoyed this Read the Factory Manual. 
I know I did. If you really liked it and you're not subscribed, please do. So, subscription is free. Just if you're logged in with your Google account, you can hit that subscribe button and away you go. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well then hit that thumbs down button twice. If you have any suggestions or comments, leave them down there at the bottom. Be nice. And uh, I do read every comment. Good good ones and the bad ones. The bad ones I delete. And um, we'll see you again real soon. Thank you again for watching Read the Factory. Thank you.